everybody, this is Jim at FreeChartVideos.com, using time-honored techniques to understand modern markets. It's uh, Sunday afternoon, just before the Falcons are getting ready to play uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks, and the uh, game's going to start in about two minutes. I'm going to probably miss the beginning of the game, but <clears throat> that aside, this video is for educational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as any form of investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own due diligence and make investment decisions that are suitable for your financial situation. I'm not a licensed professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. So we're going to look at the S&P 500, kind of see if we can get a feel for what's going on. Uh, and, and really the question is more what's going to go on in the short term, because I think the, the medium term and the long term, I, I believe the, 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 the uh, fate is uh, fairly well known by the chart, but what's going to happen in the next couple of days is kind of the question. So let's take a look. So uh, here we're looking at a 30-minute chart, and all of this. Uh, well, I tell you what, let's look at an hour chart. Put it in. Put it in uh, perspective here. This is the uh, right shoulder of the uh, head and shoulders top. This was the breakdown, and like I said, if you uh, subscribe to my Twitter account, you got a tweet. On, on the initial breakdown of that uh, uh, neckline back in, in uh, early August. And then uh, it, it pulled back. Uh, I went short here and I covered, but uh, I'm still looking for a more significant pullback, you know, and we may not get it now that this uh, pattern right here has broken down. So uh, uh, there are a couple things I want to show you, and I've got a couple of uh, uh, Fibonacci uh, retracement tools brought up here. One is in black, and the other one is in red, and, and they work from two different areas, so I want you to understand. The black one takes the uh, 13, uh, 1370 top and marks that all the way down to the uh, bottom. Uh, of the of the breakdown that took place back in uh, in the second week of August, so that's one. I want to show you that the first pullback um, from this low after the big breakdown was almost exactly to the 38.2% uh, retrace, which uh, John McGee would have said the 40% retracement of that breakdown move. The second one was almost exactly to the 50% retracement level. And I, the whole time, I've been thinking, you know, even though the textbook says you go short here, I kept thinking, you know, the neckline is up at that next retracement level, the one at 61.8%. Uh, uh, and I kept thinking, boy, wouldn't that be cool if that made it? That would be... Uh, everybody should short there. Well, I, th I, I don't think that's um, that's necessarily in the cards now. Now that the neckline of this uh, continuation pattern, uh, head and shoulders, broke down. So, uh, what is a continuation pattern? Well, a continuation pattern is just what it says. It's a pattern that that forms part the way through a move, and the the result of that pattern is is that uh, it leads to a continuation of the move that was in place before it formed. So this is, a, this is not a super easy call here, though, because you can see it's pretty clear left shoulder, head, right shoulder, okay? And that did break down on Friday. But the thing that makes this a not that easy call is the fact that there's also this line down here that has served as really strong support right around 1120. And uh, if you'll remember, in other videos, I've shown you that that line has its origin back as the neckline from this inverse head and shoulders uh, of uh, roughly, that broke out just a little bit more uh, than a year ago. So there's, there's a little bit of kind of mixed signals here, and I think this kind of explains why the markets have been going up and down with such volatility it's because well wait a minute you know I want to pull back uh, to this neckline for one thing and then the other thing is yeah but I want to get slammed down 
but but when it does that it keeps meeting this line of support all I can say is this if this 1120 ish area really breaks down then I'm thinking mid thousands and I've got a couple reasons for believing that the first reason is um, that's what this in that's what this excuse me that's what this head and shoulders pattern says so if this if my read on this is correct and this is a uh, head and shoulders continuation then this is broken down it will pull back to the neckline uh, and then head back down and to at least uh, roughly a thou into the low thousand fifties however like I said it's it's got this line it's got to get through and and I think 1120 will likely put up something of a fight I don't know how big but um, you can tell that's where the bounce took place uh, on Friday additionally now if we look at a five minute chart you can see and we've seen this in in, in other instances Tell you what maybe if I go to a <coughs> 15 minute we'll see it a little bit better you'll see that there'll be these r fairly impressive uh, moves uh, in this pa in in over the past month or so that'll uh, there'll be a a topping pattern and then a sudden uh, swift move down then a move up then a little bottom develops here with some you could see though that the that the move itself tends to be pretty swift and then it gets caught up and moves around a little bit you get whipsawed a bit and that's the reversal um, what happened um, over the last uh, two days um, actually that low was on Thursday pardon me but you know Thursday Friday yeah same thing the charts the chart but this whole little area right here sorta looks like this may be part of if I if, let's go to put this if if I were to see this all by itself just this week of trading and maybe didn't really have all of the um, all of the context this looks like it may be trying to reverse up and the reason I say that is uh, there was a downward channel a little sloppy um, that that started to form after that gap down that came up back tested this line came up again back tested it again and now was going sideways um, if this market gets a little bit of steam and can get over roughly 1140 1144 1145 then then I think there's a decent chance that um, that the markets could could have a little bit more upside to them but I think they're gonna have a hard time getting uh, across this line right here because this is uh, drawn from this top across this top I just kind of think something like this is is maybe in the works um, I could be wrong and and keep in mind please always keep this in mind when we look at channels and we start to develop uh, something on a chart that appears to be a channel it, it's it's a sad but true thing that as soon as you have enough uh, data points and you've had enough trading to where you can identify a channel you, you with rare exception you usually start to feel uh, really good about that channel oh <laughs> maybe uh, 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 about 80 percent the way through its life so th there's a decent chance here that it, even if this is a channel we we start to really feel good about it and then and then it here lo and behold then it uh, maybe this upper line breaks and and we do get a back test up here look the markets don't go straight down and they don't go straight up my feeling right now is um, I am I am still in cash I did make a short trade uh, on Thursday 
and I closed it out in, in a good time. So uh, what I'm looking at right now is for a, a uh, I would say at this point, the general theory is sell the rallies. If there's a good rally, you know, sell it unless it, unless it uh, eventually breaks out over um, a technical significant line. Um, we've got a couple uh, things that we can draw here. We can draw uh, this line across this top and then across this top right here. We've got this top and this top. All of, all of these lines that I've got drawn right here, you can see there's just a whole swarm of them. Um, the neckline from the large uh, invert, excuse me, the large head and shoulders top. One, two, three, four, five. And then we've got uh, six. Uh, forget this black line. That's, uh, that's not really a, a trend line. That was just a level that I was marking. So we've got uh, a bunch of resistance over us. And really we've got just this little cluster, the way I see it, of, uh, of support. That if it gives way, boom, we're heading down. Uh, additionally, I mentioned that this... Uh, head and shoulders pattern points to about 1150. Another thing that could point to 1150 is if we just look at this uh, straight line move off of 1220 down to 1120 and now it's congesting and going uh, sideways a bit. <clears throat> if this is not a, a little reversal pattern and we'll, we'll start to probably be able to sort this out a little bit better on Monday. If this is not a uh, reversal pattern then it will end up being a little flag and the flags fly at half mast and interestingly enough if this one rallies up to that neckline as a pennant or a flag and it is flying at half mast um, once it uh, once it runs all the way down the flagpole it will be at the exact same level that we would expect from this head and shoulders pattern so <coughs> excuse me make a long story short get down under 1100 this market's got probably another 45 points to go minimum um, I think it will probably if it goes that far it will likely head on down um, because this black line right here really is just the measure of 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 this uh, head and shoulders the next uh, uh, support that I would really expect from the chart uh, actually comes back from two years ago and that is the, the uh, neckline of this large inverse head and shoulders pattern that marked uh, the uh, the last uh, well I'm going to call it the last bear market bottom you know what I mean um, if we break down through that then then we are headed down even further so uh, right now as I mentioned there is support here support here and support here here that comes from long-term uh, uh, trend lines but uh, you wonder how how well the market's memory is maybe for this line right here it may not be quite as much as say these two necklines this 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 one right here and this one right here the other thing I want to mention is that a lot of times after a, a really swift downwards move like this you will enter into a period of, of great volatility. A lot of times this uh, takes the form of a triangle, uh, according to uh, Edwards and McGee. And really, uh, again, let's get rid of that line. Uh, if we take this line right here and just kind of extend it back for jollies, you can see that even though I think this is a head and shoulders continuation, you can see how somebody could maybe come back to this mark right here and say, well, but it's also a triangle. I don't think it's a really good example of one, but you can see where it's, it, it does have something of a constrictive nature that started to set up before that bottom line broke. So look, that's kind of uh, what I see in the S&P right now. I'm waiting, hoping I'm hoping for a little bit more rally uh, to go short. So let's let's see if we get that. If not, then I'm not going to chase up or down. And uh, look, right now, all I want to say is thanks for watching the video. 
and uh, this will be free chart videos until the end of the week. Then uh, the my uh, my video uh, this little page right here will change to a sp500chart.com. Let me tell you briefly how this is going to work. First off, every video that I do on the S&P 500 will be eventually seen by anyone who wants to see it. But the way it's going to work is a little different. Uh, those who want to get these every day of the week after the markets close, with rare exception, there are times when I can't produce one of these for uh, any number of reasons. The power's out, internet's down, uh, I'm in the middle of travel, and, and there's just no way I can do one. But if you follow me over the past year, uh, I think that's a pretty good indication of, of the reliability that I'll have in putting these out. But anyway, make a long story short. Uh, those who want to subscribe, that's $19.95 a month or $189.95 per year, those who want to subscribe will get the video as soon as they are produced. Um, those who don't want to subscribe, they will uh, also be able to see the videos, but on a delayed basis. And here's how that basis is going to work. Mondays and Tuesdays uh, videos will be released for everyone to see on Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday videos will be released for everybody to see on Friday. And everybody, whether you subscribe or not, gets to see the weekend video uh, that will either be produced on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. I'm going to make that video available to, to everyone uh, for no charge. Now, why am I doing that? Well, the reason is I think that, that end of week video is going to be a little bit more general in nature, and it's going to be a little bit of a recap over what happened over the past week. And frankly, um, if I got it right, then uh, I want a chance to tell people in real time, as it were, um, well, why should I delay the good news? Of course, that also means I would, I would, <laughs> well, but I, I might want to delay bad news. But you, you get the picture. So if you want, if you want to get uh, Monday through Friday's video uh, on a timely basis after the videos are produced, that will be the member service. If, uh, if you can wait a couple days for these and you just want to learn uh, some, some chart reading techniques, you can still do that. It's just that uh, it will come to you on a delayed basis except for the weekend video. So look, take care. I hope you'll consider uh, that small investment, and I hope this has helped. I've gotten a lot of emails from people who've said, this is really helping me out a whole bunch. And I remind you, I really am. I'm just a guy who draws lines on charts. But, uh, but you know, I've just been doing this for a long time, so uh, I, I hope, I hope you, uh, you get something out of it. Take care, and uh, this week, free videos for everybody. Starting in October, eh, not so much. But still, well, I'll take it back. Free videos for everybody. Just some people are going to get them sooner. Thanks for watching.